Hi, so I was out shopping recently and I came across a B&M, which I, we don't have one near where I live. So I went in to have a look and I found this little tree decoration and it was a pound. And in itself, I think it's quite sweet, little wooden decoration, it's got some ribbon on it, it's got some bells on it and some little stars. But I thought this would be a good little project that you could personalise and give to somebody as a Christmas decoration. So what I've done, I've taken a piece of white copy paper, placed the star on it and I've drawn round it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and scan this through the scan and cut and make a cutting file for it, which I'm going to send over to scan and cut canvas. And I'm going to use this as a guide for the size that I can write my greeting on. So on the machine, I'm just going to use scan to cut data. And once I've done that and I've got it into Canvas, I'll show you where I'm up to. So I'm in scan and cut Canvas. I'm going to open a new project. Now, if you don't have Wi-Fi, this would be how you would do it. You would open a new project and then you would go to the SVG icon and navigate to where you've saved your scan to cut data file. I sent mine over Wi-Fi, so it should be in my projects. And there it is. So I'm going to select that. And I'm not going to cut this star. I'm just using this as a guide for the size that I can use my text. So I'm thinking that I want to put Merry Christmas on it. So I've already got some Merry Christmas wording in another file here. So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want it. I might use the snowflake. So this wording here now... I want to see if it will fit on my star. So I might have to rotate it or resize it. We'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it or whether I want it to read straight. I might just resize it down and put it like that. And then add a snowflake. And then if I wanted to, I could always do some more words and put something on the other side of it. So I think that's maybe all I'll do for now. That snowflake's about an inch high. I might make another one and make it a bit smaller and see if I can cut it smaller. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to or not. But I just wanted the outline of the star to give me an idea for the area that I've got to work with for my text. I could probably make it a bit bigger. Just send this to the back and position the words like so. And maybe just have a couple of snowflakes, something like that. So I'm going to resave it. And then I've got the shape if I ever decide I want to buy any more of these stars and do some different ones. You could put a name on, you could personalise them, you could do whatever you want. But I don't need the star now, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I don't know whether I'm going to cut this all in the same colour or not, so I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm going to download it and send it back to my scan and cut machine. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but basically I'm going to go into pattern. I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi icon, which is the icon in the top left hand corner. And I'm going to retrieve my design. And I'm going to... Once I've got it on the screen, I'm going to do a background scan. I've got a piece of brown vinyl on here because this little star that I drew around before has got some little brown beads on it. So I thought I'd use brown vinyl and see how that looks. So I'm going to do a background scan, say OK. I'm going to drag my greeting and my little snowflakes onto this piece of vinyl 
and then send it to cut. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that that had cut through because I've not used this vinyl for a long time. This is indoor vinyl because obviously this is going to be a tree decoration. So it, it doesn't need to be, you know, washed or anything. So I'm going to peel away the waste and then we'll see what we've got. this section away because I could always use that again. Just go back to where I'd lifted the vinyl up and start to peel away and hopefully it will leave the snowflakes and my design behind. And vinyl really is easy to work with. It's not to be scared of. Um, I know it can seem a bit intimidating if you've not used it before. And quite a lot of people have messaged me and said they've not had the nerve to use vinyl since I've been posting some vinyl projects recently. But what I would say is start off with some simple text, not, you know, maybe anything um, curly like this. And... You know, don't do it too big and just cut it and just use transfer tape and put it on a piece of card or scrap paper just to get into get you used to the process of weeding and, you know, lifting up and applying. So I'm just going to take the middles of these letters out now, which are really, really tiny. I can barely see them. Sometimes a good pair of tweezers helps when you're doing things like this because you will invariably get bits of vinyl stuck to you. I've got one in the middle of the Y to get out. One in the middle of the S. And then I think there are little bits in the middle of these um, snowflakes that need weeding away, which there are. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll come back. OK, so I've got that weeded. And I've got the two snowflakes weeded with all those little tiny centres out, which were a bit of a devil to try and get out. And I've got my contact paper. Let's see which one's big enough. So we'll use this. Just going to give it a burnish, peel the vinyl back in a way, I should say. And if it doesn't, if it looks as though it's leaving, bringing the letters up with it, just give it an extra burnish and then just peel it away slowly. Some of these very fine scripty fonts, you know, sometimes the little bits want to come up with it. 
that one's okay. That's how we're looking now. I don't know if you can see that on the contact paper. So I'm going to bring my little decoration in. And put this up here. Just going to burnish it down. With this being wood, I don't know how well this is going to stick. But we'll soon find out. And peel this away slowly. There we go, that's lovely. All on there. And then we'll do the snowflakes. Can use the same piece of contact paper. Just peel it back on itself and you'll probably be okay. There you go, that one's come away nicely. So I think I'll put this one here. one of the ends of my snowflakes just burnish it down there you go so that's one and then we'll just put this other little one on and see how it looks so roll your backing of your vinyl off don't don't be tempted to pull it off, just roll it off. And that way you can see if anything is coming up that shouldn't. And I've got a stray piece there that wants to keep coming up and I don't want it to. So I'm just going to burnish it down again. One last little piece there. There you go, I think we've got it all this time. And I'll put this one there. Just burnish it down. And there you have it. And there you have it, little Christmas decoration that we've personalised with some vinyl. This could be a name, it could be a name and a year, it could be baby's first Christmas or the name and the year, something like that. Anything really. Or as I say, you know, a, a cheap little ornament bought for a pound and just decorated up. So I hope you liked that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.